my beautiful Scorpio friends, and welcome to your horoscope for August of 2020, where Scorpio this month, Mercury enters into the top part of your chart. We've got Mars continuing through Aries, burning through anything that is trying to hinder the daily routine in your sixth house, definitely burning off anything that has shown up in a way of sickness. If you've been feeling lazy, if the energy's been low, if you've just been feeling like I got to get daily things done, you've got Mars helping you out this month. And as we close out this month, you get a lot of help in the social zones and who shows up to help you none other than Virgo getting you into the details getting things specific high integrity but doing it in a very very social way so I think this is a really a lovely month for you Scorpio and I look forward to walking you through it but before we jump in want to let you know the eat and greets are going to continue this month we will be welcoming Glenn Mitchell Kay Taylor Kathy Rose Susan Miller also, Laurel Nelbandian, Clarissa Dolphin will be coming to talk more about vibrational astrology because you said you wanted to hear about it, so I brought her over. As well, there is a free summit coming up August 7th through the 9th, the Summit of Purpose and Power. And I would love for you to show up to that. It's absolutely free. We're midway through the year. I know I could use a little fuel in my tank, a little inspiration, some motivation, some empowerment. Come show up 17 beautiful astrologers talking astrology, giving you something to think about, showing you how you can apply these things. Whether you're new to astrology or you've been doing this for a very long time, there's a little something slash a lot of something for everybody available that weekend. So I would love to see you there. You can get registered in the description box down below, okay? All right, Scorpio, let's jump into this month. So first and foremost, Mars is still actively in that sixth house for you in the energy of Aries. And I really keep being shown this sense of the heat of the blood. Like, so if you have been sick, if you've had something going on, if you've been feeling like just a little bit more low energy in some way, shape or form, Mars is going to be here till the end of the year, but he's showing up here and actually burning off and helping you sweat out. So if you're finding yourself sweating, um, he's trying to sweat something from your system, which I actually think is such a beautiful use of this placement when we talk about getting into the actual body. But it is just also really good for um, an exercise routine, for a health routine, for getting things done in a mundane daily way that also applies to your health. And I include mental wellness in here as well, Scorpio. For the last couple of years, there's been a lot about what's happening in your mind, the mind-body connection. So this is definitely an energy with Mars here that I think is more than helpful to you. If you do freelance work, or you work, you're self-employed, Mars is gonna also help you get some projects done here as well. Now on the third, we see a full moon happening in the energy of Aquarius and this lights up your fourth house space. So down below the deepest part of the chart, we're going home. Now a full moon says that something needs to be ended, acknowledged, or adjusted. So we've got a shift coming to your home life, but it's not just home, family, real estate, property. This is at a psychological level, at your emotionally secure psychological foundation. Something that you're standing on is coming into a flux. It's coming into shift. One of the things I think of in the energy of Aquarius is um, surprise, unpredictable, but also this expansive future mindedness. So one of the questions that may be on your table as we approach this particular full moon is what are some unconventional, different, surprising, maybe even behaviors that you need to take on in this particular area so that it helps you to become successful in this area, right? Have you been too predictable for too long in your home zone? Is there something that came as an external force that has changed the um, routine of your house or your home in some way, shape, or form? It could certainly be a surprising shakeup. Also, this moon is going to end up squaring Uranus and Taurus. So we definitely have the sense that maybe just relationships in your life have an unpredictable behavior to them and you're having to adjust in order to be successful. Of course, a full moon can also mean that just your housing situation is changing, and that will just depend on your individual chart. On the fifth, we see Mercury moving into the energy of Leo, so at the tip top of the chart. So now in terms of the career, what you do in the world, your reputation, how we see you, how we know you, Mercury brings in Leo brings fire to the mouth, right? Fire to our communication, and you are ready to express here. 
So in your work, in what we know you for, maybe you are expressing yourself, um, you're promoting your ideas, you're putting something out there, maybe you're working on a big promotional project in some way, shape or form, and you're able to really use this mercurial energy to get that going. Either way, one of the things that we also get the sense of with this particular energy is that in the career, it doesn't necessarily have to be a new career that you're taking on, but you could even be taking on training or study or something that promotes you getting out there, promotes you really doing your job very, very well. I'd be interested to hear what that looks like for you this month, Scorpio. Now on the seventh, we're gonna see Venus moving into the energy of Cancer and this lights up this ninth house space for you. Publishing, marketing, broadcasting, training, higher education, things that have to do with international business. With Venus here, you don't have to push so hard. Venus is attracting goodness to this area. So if let's say that you are taking on a training or a certification or something like that so that you can advance yourself in your career, so that you can advance yourself in your industry. Maybe you're the teacher helping people do this. Whatever it is, Venus is magnetizing this area and being in the energy of cancer, which also speaks to home, this is adding a bigger belief, a bigger understanding, something more expanded to your home zone, your own foundation. We talked about that moon giving a shift to the psychological foundation you're standing on as well. This adds a beautiful, benefic addition to the beliefs and the information that you already have that allow you to advance and to expand out. On the 15th, Uranus is going to take a retrograde in the energy of Taurus, so right across the street in your seventh house. So relationships are getting shaken up. They already are getting shaken up right now, but this is giving you a different kind of shakeup. Instead, it's saying, I want you to go back into these relationships, and that's not just romantic relationships. It's business relationships, the relationship of you with you, relationships that are significant in your life. Maybe it's a friend. Is this with your children? Is this with with a mentor, right? You're going to go back into it and Uranus in retrograde is going to show you where you need to shed certain ideas, beliefs, and behaviors because they are keeping you from true freedom. What you want here is freedom. Do you have connections to earth sign energies that are not free? Do you have financial connections that you need to be free of or make adjustments to so that you can be free? All of this is going to be in the space of where is Scorpio looking for freedom. Now, this is still Uranian energy. So one of the things I think of is that Taurus wants to build something long-term, long-lasting that's very sturdy. So in your digital life, are you creating classes? Are you creating content? In your work life, in the training that you're doing, are you doing that training so that you can go back in and create something steady and long-term, but you're having to see a different way to do that in order for it to be successful and for you to have some freedom going forward because you don't want to build something that you have to be consistently attached to. You want to build something that can work for you. Make your money, make your time, make your efforts work for you, right? On the 19th, we see a new moon happening in the energy of Leo. So again, putting more emphasis at the top of the chart up here. Plant your seeds of intention here, Scorpio. What do you want in your career? What do you really want in your career? This is Leo energy. So it is, what is your expression in your career? What is your expression? Where are you ready to lead? Where are you coming out of the gate with a lot more self-confidence where you're like, yeah, I am Scorpio, hear me roar. I figured it out. I'm ready to take this to the next level. Where is that? Because you can plant that at this particular new moon as we watch that pan out over this next four weeks. Make it big, make it bold, make it brave, and make it joyful, Scorpio, okay? On the 20th, we see the uh, Mercury energy moving into the energy of Virgo, out of that Leo, out of the fire in the mouth. Now moving home into the energy of Virgo. It's very practical, very comfortable here. It's in the 11th house space. So we know that there's conversation going on in community, in your organizations, with the friends, in your social sphere, which can also include social media right? Leadership opportunities. Maybe you're standing in front and you're the teacher. You're on stage right now, Scorpio, right? And then we get to the 22nd and the sun rolls into the Virgo energy as well. And we've got light, heat, 
life and vitality. There is active movement. There is engagement. You are motivated here. You are organized, getting organized. Are you organizing something in a grouping um, arena? Are you organizing your long range plans and goals that Uranus has asked you, what are we doing to be free? What are we doing to get free? So in your long range plans, goals, and designs, Virgo shows up and says, let's make this the best that it could possibly be, but let's get into the details of how we're going to do this. Now I'm getting the picture too that truly some of you may be um, studying. You're studying in some way, shape, or form. Of course, you know, nothing like a pandemic to help you do online study classes. So that could definitely be something that is going on. And I'm also seeing some of you may need to go home. Like you're going back home or you're taking care of something that is back at home and there's a social grouping attached to how you're getting that done. So I look, I look forward to seeing what this looks like for you, but any place that you social up, at the end of the month, the next four weeks is going to give you a nice big voice and a nice sense of organization in these groupings to get things done. So whether you're studying, you're working out and going to the gym, you're making decisions about things that you have to go back home to, you have a nice social base here that says you don't have to do it all yourself, but also allow social spheres to help you get the work done that you're trying to get done. So it's a nice month. I really think that it is a good month for you, Scorpio. And every month we inch closer and closer to birthday time, which is also exciting. So not quite there yet. We've got some time. But everything as we pull towards it, I think when you arrive at birthday time, you're going to be like, yes, it was definitely in August that I got things organized and pulled together in a system that actually makes my money, makes my energy, makes my projects work for me instead of me having to work so hard in order to get those things done and meet my desires. So it's going to be a beautiful month. Keep me posted in the comment section down below what's playing and panning out for you. Have a great month. Like this video, comment, share, subscribe. I look forward to seeing you in the eat and greets and I hope to see you at the astrology for Power and Purpose Summit coming up August 7th through the 9th. Bye Scorpios!